Crypto is the place where seeking advice can be misleading or a total waste of time. It is also the place where finding a potential market is more important than having the potential to invest. The one stage before or after becoming an investor is to become a crypto enthusiast who can predict the tangible sides of each coin by the market situation and the nature of the coin. With proper research, it's not a skydive without a parachute. One term which is commonly used as an advice word when we talk about cryptocurrency is DYOR, which means do your research. Being told to do DYOR is not advice. So the question is, how do we do that? Some of the common tools used for research are going through forums, social media, communication with other investors and websites which offer a look at the differences and potential of coins. The more tools, the less risk. These researchers give a clear insight into a coin's sentimental value. So what sentimental value is the general attitude or psychology of investors towards certain coins? These expertise feelings towards a currency can make a tangible effect on the demand for the currency. Or we can simply say research is aimed at getting a proper understanding of a coin's tangible behavior. Nobody wants to try the skull strength by a Russian roulette completely relying on their ancestors' blessings. Like always, it is not a place which adores its rush players over strategic campers. Welcome back to another episode of Rex and in today's video, we are going to discuss the 12 simple steps to do research on a cryptocurrency coin or token before investing. And subscribe if you already haven't. Before we jump into topics, we must know the world of crypto is vast. So scammers also have potential opportunities there. They can design tokens and take currency out of pocket if you ain't well informed. So understanding your tokens is important. There are five types of these digital currencies in the market and each differs in its utilities. First, platform tokens are mainly used for purposes like gaming, advertising and digital collectibles and in marketplace industries. The security is enhanced by the protection of blockchain. But when it comes to tokens, these are not native to blockchain and they are embedded by self-executing software and are operated without third-party interference. For those of you who are still confused about the work of blockchain, we will talk about how it records transactions briefly. This is a decentralized ledger mechanism that records transactions of digital assets. Decentralization allows people to get out of long queues, where they have to wait hours for their registration. The data in the blockchain can never be modified. So whenever a transaction occurs, there is an audience of crypto miners to witness and record the transaction to the blockchain. So what's in it for them to attend your sale? It's like whenever a box of assembled transaction records is accepted and verified by other crypto miners, the miner gets a block reward. A transaction is recorded inside the blockchain with details of the same of the sender, receiver and the amount of transaction and a unique hashtag similar to the functioning of a fingerprint and another hashtag to the previous block which then connects it to the blockchain. The next token is the security token which came into being as a solution to regulatory concerns and gives all kinds of legal rights to the buyer. Third, the transactional tokens are used to serve as a unit of account and used in the exchange of goods and services. The fourth utility token is not a direct means of investment but rather works as a payment system for their ecosystem. And finally, the governance token is a voting method and can be used to provide support for particular ideas proposed. The important thing to know is that developers can migrate coins into tokens if the project has a large growth and create a bridge to their own ecosystem where people can exchange their coins to purchase their token. So how do we decide where to start from millions of options to choose from? There comes the importance of research. Number one, the first step which is also the easiest is to make use of your social media platform. When you do your research in cryptocurrency, social media has a great potential to get wider perspectives and to analyze different opinions that have acquired traction or ideas that are widely accepted by crypto followers. Check out the platforms which are generating a buzz. Platforms such as Twitter, Reddit, Facebook, Telegram and YouTube 
can be used here to understand the various on-chain analytics of your specific crypto. If the coin is largely shilled or increased its popularity, the price can go higher. The point here is to find out what the masses are after and find out why. In social media, you will be able to find different types of expertise in various fields expressing their views and watch for accredited investors, crypto celebrities and crypto journalists to get access to the hottest updates before becoming news. In crypto, it's time that has value. Groups such as Crypto Coin Trader and Crypto Trader News on Facebook have thousands of information from 115,000 participants which will keep you updated in the field. Any platform you use, make sure it's not a marketplace where content is focused around some particular coins and the purpose behind it is not promoting them. You need to be cautious on topics and don't invest only based on random opinions of strangers, mainly because of its legitimacy and scammers use bots to increase leads in it. Number two, the second topic you have to conduct your research on is to understand what it is. While you are on your research, do the KYC technique, which is to know your crypto instead of following the mass or going with the popular one. Following the mass is not a bad idea if they are well informed, but first, understanding the characteristics of a coin is important. A part of research is asking questions. When you come across a new coin which has gathered attention from multiple platforms and caused money movement towards itself, the first thing you need to find out is how valuable is the utility of that coin. You will need to find out if the coin is addressing something unique. The coin must have an innovative plan and should be able to deal better than other competitors to increase its value if it's a long-term investment. You also need to foresee the future of the coin before the big step. The main goal is to find out if your coin is overvalued or undervalued. One example is the blockchain project. It has solved a major crisis about security and has been dealing with commercial problems ever since, which created a surge in the tradable value of its coin. Number three, our third point is to study the people behind the project. Most importantly, stalk the people behind the project. Check if they have worked on any reputed projects before. See if there are any reputed members in the team ecosystem. Make sure the team can handle the close calls and have experience in the field. By checking the background, you can save your investment from people who are only there to cart away gains. Most legitimate agencies will have a public render of their project directors and official partners of the organization. You can check websites such as bitcoin.org, LinkedIn and Twitter to recognize such community developers. See if they are active and the topics they talk about and ask questions to check the feedback and build trust around the system. Number four, our fourth topic on the list is the white paper. If you have been grinding in crypto for a while, you might be familiar with the term white paper. A crypto project's main aim is to deal with problems, but solving effectively enough to make a mark. Every team has an aim to deal with, so white paper is the hanging board of all those collective goals. You also need to check if the goals are realistic to meet and not lifted out from other projects' white papers. So basically, white paper will give you an overview of their projects. But having a white paper is not enough. It should be good and legit. So when you see a project's white paper, check if it looks legit and watch out for poor grammar quality and spelling mistakes. Number five, coming on fifth is to look for upcoming events. Social media is a small part of our research. In order to acquire a broader worldview and see the upcoming trends, you need to participate in events. You can use platforms like CoinMarketCal to research for your specific currency. Such events are when you will get notified of changes in the market. For example, on 3rd January 2020, it was announced that Ethereum was named Ethereum 2.0. So upcoming events can be a great information source to predict the short-term paths of some specific cryptocurrency. In order to track down, such events use the CoinMarketCap crypto calendar to get information on any coin you are particularly interested in investing in. 
Number 6. Our next pick for research is the history of the coin. It can be hard sometimes to time the market and buy at a lower stage. But another thing you can watch to gain a similar advantage is by understanding a cryptocurrency's historical performance. Sometimes there can be evidence of inconsistency or the happen-demand bloom of a particular coin. So price history gives you advanced knowledge about how things could turn in the next day and this helps you to finalize your decision on your long-term investment. Number 7. On the 7th, we are going to discuss the subject of tokenomics. So tokenomics is the economics of token and all the elements that make the particular token valuable and interesting to buyers. It has large importance in the making of investment because a project with a well-built ecosystem to buy and hold its token has more advantages to do better in competition than projects and don't have a well-built incentive around its token. It can raise the demand and the price of the project. So you need to find how the project issues its token because there can be incidents like a few minorities holds the major share so they have an outsized advantage on price fixing. And if the project is issuing more tokens, then the value of your coin can go down. It is also important to know how many tokens are issued and to check if the limit is fixed. The next field of research should be to understand how many tokens the founders kept and how much will be distributed to others. Number eight, going on to the eighth strategy is to follow the numbers. Following the number means sticking with the statistics. You must follow the transaction volume of a coin over a given period. Check out a variety of other platforms and compare to see the accuracy of the insights. When in the crypto world, another important thing that needs to be noticed is to watch out for which topics are growing popular and why. Find the help from crypto keyword finding tools to understand which events or coins are widely searched at a particular time to get yourself a head start and get access to evaluate the market sentiment. Number 9. Next field our research should be spread is to understand the competition. Watch the actions of the competitors and compare your crypto with them. This will get you to understand how that sector can evolve in the near future. Read their whiteboard. When it comes to evaluating the smart contract cryptocurrency, things you need to look at are scalability, speed and security. And in decentralized finance such as DeFi, you want to look at how much money they have in their platform. Understanding the difference between the platform that got your attention is important. Check out their active status and the development at a specific time. Finding out the advantage and weaknesses of your competitors has a broad value before investing. Number 10. On our 10th, you need to understand the market cap. So the market cap is the indicator of a crypto's value over price. It is the number of coins in circulation multiplied by price. The higher the market cap, it tells you that the coin is established and stable. And if the market cap of a token or coin is small, it can mean the price can be manipulated by whales who have consumed large shares. Number 11. Next, do you find out how and where to buy a project? If you are not a crypto miner, you must not buy cryptocurrency from outside cryptocurrency exchanges. Exchanges have a system of tight validation to provide legitimate projects to their customers. This has positive and negative problems such as in the case of newly launched currencies, it will take time to be listed on the exchanges. So when you invest in such coins, your money will be locked up for a certain time. And if your tokens get listed, check to see if it's small exchanges because they have a higher chance to get hacked or go bankrupt. Number 12. On the final list, let's check out two tools that you can use to research your crypto. The first tool is Masari a crypto data aggregator with multiple other helping tools. It has filters such as market cap, price and sector to customize your research. Secondly, Glassnod. This on-chain data platform gathers data from blockchains for accurate measurement of the crypto network and it reports back to its users. It can provide market indicators of any coin and view the active purchases. 
Hope you all have enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.